Uh, hello everybody, welcome back to an, another episode on um, on Multipurpose with Lakshit. So I have Ridhima Pandis today. So Ridhima is an environmentalist and uh, yeah. So thank you very much uh, Ridhima for joining in. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, so, so my first question to you is if you can speak about yourself and what you do. Uh-huh. So actually my name is Radhima Pandey. I'm 12 years old. And I'm a climate activist based in Uttarakhand Haridwar. What I basically do is like I create, a, uh, right now I'm working on awareness programs. So I run awareness program uh, all around India. So I travel to like, um, like different states in India to schools and colleges. And basically I go there and I talk to students like about how their rights have been violated, how they can like protect their rights and what are the things that uh, they can do as their personal levels. Okay. And uh, before that, I've done a petition against Government of India in 2017 at National Green Tribunal. And the main topic was, uh, of, my go- uh, of my petition was basically that the government is not doing their bit properly. And because of that, uh, there's been a lot of destruction that's been happening to the environment. And it's really affecting the children and the people living out. And it's really going to have a very bad impact on us. And somewhere, uh, because at that time, our government signed, like, uh, so many of the countries signed the Paris Agreement, but our government was not really able to, like, work uh, uh, on it properly on ground. So okay. that petition was basically kind of having a lot of uh, uh, information and everything. But after, I would say, uh, one and a half year, it got dismissed by the National Green Tribunal. Now mm-hmm. I've taken it to Supreme Court. And, uh, like, in 2019, I did, uh, uh, com- I filed a complaint at United Nations with other 15 under child rights uh, to the Child Rights Committee uh, against five countries, those who were violating the child rights, who signed, like, the Child Rights Convention. And now it's been accepted by the United Nations, and it's, like, the further case Okay, wonderful. And uh, how did you like? Uh, how did you? Um, what? How did you make yourself aware that environment is changing, climate is changing? What are the things that are getting bad? Like, how did you? Um, like, you are just uh, 14, thirteen or fourteen years. So how 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 this much things did you learn? You know, like, how did you get to know the climate is changing? There is a constant change, and we have to stop the things which are which we are doing to the environment. Uh, actually, what really happened was like there was a flash flood that occurred in my home state in 2013. So when the flash flood basically occurred, I was five, and at that time there was a lot of destruction that had really happened. And like during that destruction, I saw the whole footage at uh, like uh, at news channels, and my mom also read the newspapers. So while I was like uh, I was really small, so my mom used to read the newspaper, and I used to hear it. And my, my dad also went there to rescue animals because he works in a NGO which basically works to uh, like protect the environment and to conserve the wildlife. Okay. So he also went there to like basically uh, kind of rescue the animals. And so I saw the whole scenario. I felt really bad about the thing. And I was really afraid that the same kind of thing happens. Mm-hmm. So I really didn't want it to be the same. So I really wanted to know like why this flash flood occurred, who was the reason and how we can stop it. So at that time, gradually, my parents, uh, basically, my father taught me that uh, this, the flood basically occurred because of uh, climate change and global warming. And we are not really stopping it. We are just like, uh, because of uh, activities done by us, the emissions and our carbon footprints and uh, the government out there, they're not really doing their bit properly. And that's why the whole scenario is changing. And uh, if something will not uh, gonna be happen after some decades, it's gonna be getting like really, really worse. And at that time, I came to know that my f- future is in danger. So I really wanted to protect uh, like my future. I really wanted to like uh, make the whole scenario proper and things to be like go smoothly. So I started. I gradually started like studying about it, learning about it. And like after that, once I got like all the information, I like. I got pretty much aware about the things. I started taking action. Okay, okay, great, great. And what has been the response? Like, you know, you said you have uh, wrote, uh, you have uh, signed petitions and you written, you have written a lot of, um, you know, a lot of different, uh, you have uh, complaints to you know, UN. So what has been uh, there? Um, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know what, what this, how it works. I just wanted to know from you. 
um, how does how does uh, they take you know like you are just thirteen and I'm pretty much sure somewhere people have not taken you much seri- like seriously. So how how does it really works for you? And what are the ty- type of things which are uh, arises in the in the things you do? Kind of problems and uh, different things. So it's basically kind of different if you wanna file any petition or case at the court because you have to first of all you have you should have a great lawyer because uh, until it's like because if you're doing the something against someone who is very powerful that it's really important that the person the lawyer which you're having is really gonna support you till the end. Okay. So like my lawyers basically my father's friend so they are supporting me till now. Even though it's been like dismissed once, and now we have again taken it. Uh, and at the same time, it's very important to have each and every facts and reports and everything in a petition. And it's very important to draft uh, that very carefully because uh, if your petition is not drafted properly or things uh, will not like work properly, then your petition will automatically get dismissed before even like uh, uh, hearings will happen. So it was really kind of difficult to like figure it out like how should we should draft the petition and everything and it uh, kind of took us around one year to draft the whole petition. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a very kind of uh, hard work like connecting the information and like filing it and everything. And uh, after that, it's like uh, after you do the petition, you file the petition. It's really it's like because in my case because uh, my case was really strong. But since like uh, I really didn't got the justice, but at the same time, like that was kind of uh, I would say kind of strong case. And at the same time, because I was nine at that time when I filed the petition at uh, a national grand tribunal in 2017, okay. so my father signed uh, the petition uh, on my behalf because a minor can't really sign the petitions and everything. So my because I was the petitioner, but my legal guardian has to sign it. So mm-hmm. I really didn't face a lot of difficulties in that. But after that, when you file the petition and you start doing your work, uh, at that time, there's been a lot of trollers that you're going to face. Mm-hmm. And since like, uh, as I, uh, when, when I did my, like, uh, a petition at uh, NGP, there was not really much kind of trollers. But after that, when we uh, went to UN and after that, I started giving interviews and going out for speeches like out of India and in India. And I started my awareness program. Gradually, kind of my haters started getting like bigger, bigger, bigger. Their chain started getting bigger. And they started like kind of uh, commenting uh, on my videos and uh, every kind of stuff. So, in the beginning, it was kind of irritating for me. But after that, and now I just kind of like ignore what they say, what they do. And I just kind of like most of the time, I really doesn't open what's, what comment they are doing. And most of the time, like when, because there's been like not kind of uh, that bad comments it's like very bad so it's like most of the time I do kind of feel that I'm doing a lot to protect and at the same time it's not really only beneficial for me it's for everyone right but uh, it's not really happening much uh, so it was kind of hard at the beginning but now I just kind of laugh like uh, they're not really doing such thing and in spite of like taking uh, actions they're just like sitting at their homes and commenting uh, yeah. on them those who are not working so that's kind of thing which I face difficulties and at the same time, like the most big difficulties, like um, when you go out, you have to somewhere skip your schools and your studies and everything. It really suffers a lot. So in my case, it's the same. Since like in a month, I have to go to like uh, hardly like uh, or maybe like sev- like one week or maybe one or two week I attend my school. Or, um, sometimes it's like less than that. So there's been because I, I do a lot of traveling because of my awareness program. So there's been a lot of like classes. I do miss a lot of classes. I have to complete like uh, my notebooks, uh, like all the students, like in the end, like when the session was uh, going to end, uh, every single student was like uh, uh, making their notebooks check and everything. And what I was doing, like I was completing my work, like uh, waking up till nights and like completing my work because I really wanted the marks as well. Uh, so it's kind of uh, really difficult and at the same time it's really hard to understand the concepts especially of maths so there's been uh, kind of many difficulties if you see as an activist okay and uh, how has been your parents supporting in this journey like how how has your parents response been uh it's like uh, i would say throughout when i started and everything what i did my parents do support me the best because it's like uh, when i asked them that 
what uh, what's really happening and why all these things have been happening they would have said me like it's natural we can't really do something but they uh, told me the truth and they helped me out when i wanted to learn more i wanted to take action so it's like since the beginning my parents do help me a lot and they support like whether i want to do something or not or it's like they never take like they never they they haven't done anything like they never kind of this get aged discouraged me and they always support my decision so they are like uh, i would say the best parents that i've got okay okay wonderful and uh, coming coming to the activism thing um, like what what kind of talks and what kind of things do you you know do, do like you say you give talks to colleges students and i have seen some of your videos at tedx also so like what kind of talks do you give uh i basically so uh, in the beginning i really didn't know that how to give talk and everything so i just kind of like uh, tell that this is happening this is what's gonna uh, be and everything but i didn't say like there's been a lot kind of people who are getting encouraged by that so i like uh, after that i started telling them my journey my story how i began into activism and the problems that i faced and that uh, they are also going to face and after that i started telling uh, telling them that uh, what's really happening in india what's uh, what's the thing that's happening wrong in india and what's been happening out of india and how all the children out like in india and out of india are working like uh, their best to stop it and how it's why it's important for them to take action and at the same time i do kind of uh, try to make that kind of interactive so that i try to like ask them questions and uh, i kind of like because it's like if uh, only i am saying like oh this is happening this is happening and not really taking their views and not really like uh, kind of interacting with them then they'll feel bored because we are also students and we know that how it's been like when someone comes into like your class and starts giving the lecture for us and us it's kind of really boring so like asking them questions really interacting with them sharing uh, like taking their points of views and sharing uh, uh, like my point of view with them it's kind of really kind of fun thing what i feel like and uh, through that they also kind of like feel very encouraged and they start like doing their activism work not really much but yeah a little bit but they start taking actions okay okay great and um, how how uh, how sustainable you are in the in, in the form of environment how sustainable you are like you know as a at a personal level uh so like i try to like uh, do my best uh since when i uh, so uh, basically i really didn't know like uh, it's very important because if you are an activist you have to be sustainable yeah uh, and since i was a child at that time when my mom do ask me that you have to be sustainable and i read in an article that uh, uh, you have to be sustainable you don't have to waste food you have to save electricity you have to save what i said okay i'll do it then it said like uh, you have to walk if you are not going too far or if you are like going to a nearby market or something you should use a bicycles for going to school institutions so i really can't use bicycles to go out because it's not really kind of safe here uh because it's been a main road and everything and people don't really follow the traffic rules and it's like uh, everything so it's not really safe because, but i try to like uh, go out uh, bicycle with my parents and uh, at that time i read that i do have to like uh, stop consuming uh, what we say like junk food and everything like uh, uh so i was like oh my god i have to do this it's like uh, my mom said if you are like imagining uh, you have to make it this like you want to make this big change and you can't really like uh, avoid this little thing so that's that's not really worthy if you if you're not going to do this then people will say you are not really yeah. doing much yeah. and so you are asking us to do the same so i said okay then gradually it was in the beginning it was kind of tough but after that i started realizing that yes it is really important and before coca cola was one of my favorite but as i came to know that it's the hashtag number one polluter i just stopped like completely stopped consuming it i stopped consuming like a lot of junk food like once in month or like uh, like uh, i just consume it very less and at the same time i stopped using single use plastic i started carrying my own cloth bags or uh, sometimes tote bag i carry my own so it's like in my backpack uh, it's like uh, if someone will like like a uh, uh, like sneak peek in my bag what's in my bag so it's like uh, water bottles my own like wooden fork and everything 
and I do carry kind of a foldable cloth bag and I carry my own notebooks and everything so that I don't really have to like take page from someone and everything and I do save papers a lot uh, so it's like with my old sessions notebook I just take out the, the pages I just kind of bind them and I make rough notebook out of it sometimes I do use it and at the same time uh, I do donate it to the needies as well but what really happens is like you're having kind of binded notebook and you are taking it to the school you kind of feel uh, like uh, most of the children do feel very awkward that uh, it's kind of thing really happens like oh you're using the old pages and you have binded them and you are not really having money to buy uh, new things and everything yeah, so yeah. there's been a, like a lot of kind of things that really kind of happen but at the same time I do like so like it's kind of unique notebook that I do have so I kind of feel kind of awkward sometimes yeah it's what activist has to do true 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 wonderful wonderful work you're doing about that and where, where do you think the future of activism goes to like um, not, not even um, like how what, what kind of uh, activism you do is you said environment uh, regards to environment so what kind of um, how activism can help us to you know um, achieve, achieve stop the climate change uh, basically like uh, activism is kind of like uh, what we say is like the kind of fire that inside you and in spite of just like, uh, because it's like nowadays what really happens is like most of the youngsters are like uh, have a mindset that uh, they really have to live because they have to enjoy their life and they have to be like they, they can like they want as much luxury as they can get and at the same time they do feel kind of very nice when they like ride because it's like for the boys they when they like buy their own bikes and everything and uh, for the girls when they buy their own scooties and everything and uh, having a lot of uh, clothes even they they don't really need it like doing parties and everything and kind of uh, like wasting their money they feel like it's cool and it's like kind of what's really trending and everything so it's kind of mindset that everyone has and as an activist what really happens it's like uh, activist not really uh, only for like climate change or environment you can be an activist for anything like if you want to save maybe if you want to save like animals or marine life or anything you can take a particular topic but what I have taken like I have taken environment so I do work for like uh, each and everything like if there's plastic pollution I'll say about that if there's tree cutting somewhere people are cutting trees then I talk about that uh, if like there's been a lot of garbage that people have been dumping in an area so I'll talk about that so I talk about uh, each and every issue which I feel kind of which is important okay and in terms of like uh, what really happens is like activism you really kind of have like uh, you try to collect each and everything like each and every knowledge about your particular subject in which you're working and at the same time you try to make changes in your lifestyle and you want everyone to change their lifestyles as well you want to do your best you want, and at the same time kind of uh, when you're an activist what really happens is like those who are doing bad you kind of feel very frustrated by seeing them and you want them to immediately get stopped and okay. for that uh, like many of us rights like many of us start online petition or petition like i did we start striking or we start campaigning or we start twitter strong email strong or many things so there's been like activism can really like because activism can't really change each and everything because there's been an uh, uh until and unless when governments and uh, like big factory owners and polluters will not stop like uh, their emissions and uh, their bad deeds to us the environment we can't really change the whole scenario but what we can do is like we can make pressure on them we can make others aware about the thing that this is what is happening wrong and you all have to raise our voices against it and once like everyone will start raising their voices they'll ultimately they have to stop what they do uh, wrongly and uh, at the same time it's like making small changes in your lifestyle is also very be beneficial because it's like said like boon boon se sagar banta hai there's been like kind of scenario what's really happening with activists i would say Okay, great. Okay, wonderful. Um, so what would be your, um, you know, what would be your advice to anybody who wants to start activism in their own ways? Like what, what kind of tips do you would like to give them? Uh, the first thing that I would say is like, uh, first of all, if your parents doesn't support you, mm -hmm. make them realize that it's very important. 
because what really happens is like everyone's parents is not just like mine so they didn't really like support them in each and everything because it's yeah. like it's been happening with some of my friends as well so we are trying to convince their parents we are like since a long time we are like uh, making them understand this is happening this is happening uh, because parents do feel like this is not a kind of uh, uh, thing which uh, their kids should do it's uh, some things that some of the parents might think that it's not safe some of them think like uh, it's not really worthy and most of the parents do think like study is the most important thing okay. and unless and until child is not really properly doing their studies it's not really worthy to do anything so first of all make your parents realize that uh, it's really important for you to take actions because your future is in danger and if you will not really raise your voices for your future then what's what's the really what's the kind of impact that what's kind of uh, benefit of study if you are not really if your future is not really secure if you are going to suffer so that's the first thing that you can do when your parents start if you if unless if your parents doesn't really support you try to like be sustainable at your own way and try to educate your like peers your family members your friends your community and uh, like uh, as many people as you can start like uh, maybe create your own youtube channel and start making people aware out there or maybe like start having ig lives on instagram or live chats with people and do kind of interact with others as well others activists or researchers or anyone whom you can contact because it's very important to uh, like take their views and uh, you know like what they have been doing and at the same time don't try to do like uh, in the beginning don't try to just like jump into big thing mm-hmm. because it's kind of make to like uh, kind of feel very frustrated and many burden mm-hmm. because it feels start because first of all it's very important to know like how the whole petition kind of thing work okay. because uh, like uh, many people have asked me because like how we can do the petition how we can take the things to like supreme court or things like that but it's really difficult like you can't really go to like supreme court and say oh i want justice it's like it it's been like many things that you really have to do so try taking small steps and after that gradually you can come up with like a bigger petitions bigger campaigns and everything and uh, do your bit it's like uh, whatever you can do at your personal levels if you have more privilege if you can do like bigger things so start doing like bigger strikes start like ask your school like to help you in basically creating awareness try to like uh, communicating other schools in your locality about like arranging events and things like that and do your bit it's like uh, whatever you can do at your personal level is really going to make a change okay okay wonderful the mitros and wonderful session um, a lot of things to learn from you um, really i just need these words that you are just uh, so young um, and doing you're doing a wonderful job wonderful job um, all the best for all the coming adventures and all the best for everything thank you very much for being here it was a pleasure having you thank you thank you for having me